all these complications have arisen not because you don't have intelligent people. There are brilliant people. I am very sorry to say, even those terrorists today have with them people who are very intelligent in software, in computer software. So it is not lack of intelligence that is the cause of the problem today. It is not because there is no money in this world. Some people have so much money, they do not know what to, whether, how to use it. Whether to use it even as a toilet paper. It is not money. It is because there is tremendous deficit and lack of human values. So where do we get these human values? In some supermarket? You cannot get these human values anywhere. Can we get it in books? Can we get these human values in any one particular country? If you observe, let us take one human value, the concept of love. There are different forms of love. In English, there is only one word, love. In Sanskrit, the word has got different shades and meanings. The love that a mother and a child has, the love, the bond, is different from the love that a husband and wife has. The love of a son, a child to a mother or parents, and the parents to a child is known as Vatsalyam in Sanskrit. The general name for love is Prema. The love of a child to a mother and a mother to a child is known as Vatsalya. The love of husband and wife is known as Moham. The love between two friends is known as Sneham. The love between God and a devotee is known as Bhakti. The word love. English is a very poor language when compared to Sanskrit. Where do you get love? Can we go to a supermarket and say, Sir, can you give me 5 kilograms of love? We don't sell love. I will look into the books, read books after books. Can I become more loving in my heart? If I sit on Google and find out the definition of love and read the whole Google, will it make me more loving in nature? It won't. You have to understand that the whole creation, whatever you see in this creation, the fundamental, the base is love. For this building, there is a base, fundament. The fundament has to be strong on which this building is built. If the fundament is weak, the building will fall. In the same way, the fundament for this whole creation, love, today is very weak. That is why there is so much of problem in this world. Trump thinks he is right. Hitler also thought he was right. Alexander the Great also thought he was right. Napoleon Bonaparte also thought he was right. 
they went about killing people and they thought they were right and we read about them in history books generation after generation generation after generation generation after generation we are reading But have we learned anything in life? Are we training our children to become intellectuals? Walking encyclopedias? What is the use of becoming a walking encyclopedia? What is the use of having everything here? Are you a computer? No. This becomes a garbage can. All unnecessary information you have here. You have a bookshelf, you have a library, you have encyclopedias, you have computer, whatever information, you get it immediate. Therefore, the whole problem is we are using the mind, not the heart. Mind will always lead you to problems. You don't love with your mind. When you say, I love you darling. How do you love? With my heart. There is a song, no? Steve Wonders. I just call to say I love you. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. He does not say bottom of my mind. <laughs> And I just call to say I love you. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. He does not say bottom of my leg or bottom of my tummy or bottom of my brain. That means heart is very, 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 very important. And today, if we had the power to look X-ray vision into the heart of people, you will find 99% of the hearts have become deserts. Only cactus is growing there. Why? What is the solution to this problem? Is there a solution? Or there is no solution? People walk in good suits and ties, Rolex watch, Bentley cars, latest iPhones, iPods. Only problem is here. This is dry, totally dry. No love. If you really love, what will you say? I will not have any weapons. Come my friend, let's join hands. Let's work together. Nobody wants to say. Why? Because you are afraid of me. I am afraid of you. Fear. If you have no fear, what is the problem? You can easily move on. Mother Teresa served the poor people in India. She was not an Indian by birth. She moved about wherever she wanted. She never had a bodyguard. Why? She carried the lap of love. Did Jesus Christ have a bodyguard? Did Buddha have a bodyguard? Nobody, none of them ever had a body. Why? Because they carried the most powerful weapon in the world, love. 